On July 28, 1977, the first Alaska North Slope crude oil carried by TAPS arrived at the Valdez Marine Terminal, setting off a celebration that spanned Alaska and beyond. While that oil's 800-mile journey in TAPS had ended, in a few days, another 1,300-mile trip was about to begin. This is the story of the Arco Juno, the first tanker to carry Alaska's oil to market. The Arco Juno was constructed along with two sister tankers, the Arco Anchorage and the Arco Fairbanks, by Bethlehem Steel in Philadelphia from 1973 to 1975. Paid for by Atlantic Richfield Company, or Arco, they were built with one specific assignment, bring Alaska's oil to refineries along the West Coast and even as far as Texas. The Arco Juno was 883 feet long, 138 feet wide, and 120,000 deadweight tons, and could carry 950,000 barrels of oil at a speed of 15 knots. At a price tag around $40 million, and with a $10 million annual operating budget, the vessel would pay for itself with just a handful of deliveries of Alaska oil. While built in Pennsylvania, the Arco Juno is very much a significant figure woven into the story of Valdez. I'm Andrew Goldstein. I am the curator of collections and exhibits for the Valdez Museum and Historical Archive. The year was 1977, and after about a decade of planning and construction, oil was finally coming in to the community of Valdez. Needless to say, Valdez was just ecstatic about it. So August 1st, 1977, came the arrival of the Arco Juno, and this was the first tanker to officially fill up with oil at the Valdez Marine Terminal and bring it successfully south. Prior to that, there were a lot of tests. They were testing the berths and the delivery systems, but this was beyond the dress rehearsal and the actual event that was to set everything in motion. It's sort of funny, there's actually many first barrel of oil samples out there, but I believe that the ones that we have on display here were actually from the real first barrel of oil that made it into the Arco Juno. We have the nameplate that was hung over the berth of the Valdez Marine Terminal where the Arco Juno was to dock. Nameplates like this were constructed so that the boats would know where to go, which is why they were so large. And this is a life ring that was from the Arco Juno. As you can see, it is signed by many of the key personnel who worked aboard the ship. The Arco Juno was christened in 1974. Don Young can be seen here along with Mayor William McComber of Juno. Joseph Downer and uh, his wife, Downer was the president of Atlantic Richfield. The departure of the Arco Juno from the Valdez Marine Terminal was really a keystone event in that it marked the end of this long process of development of oil infrastructure in Alaska. And yet it also marked the beginning of this economic boom that has been so important to the state of Alaska and to the national economy. At 7 p.m. on August 1st, the Arco Juno departed Valdez, laden with more than 800,000 barrels or around 35 million gallons of oil. At the market rate of $13 a barrel, that cargo was worth about $10.7 million. Boats around Port Valdez shot water into the air, reveling at another milestone. Locals cheered and watched as the Arco Juno slowly chugged into the Prince William Sound horizon. Beyond the usual foggy conditions, the trip was uneventful. Three and a half days later, the Arco Juno arrived at Cherry Point, Washington. A New York Times reporter embedded aboard what the moment was, quote, a footnote in history as the first Alaskan crude oil reached the oil-thirsty lower 48 states. The Arco Juno's captain, Emery A. McGowan, a man with 40-plus years of tankering experience, said, oh, it's nice, but as far as I'm concerned, it's just another load of oil. Unlike in Valdez, there was little pomp and circumstance with this docking, beyond Captain McGowan receiving a plaque, that is. More than 23,000 tankers have come and gone from Valdez since TAP startup 45 years ago. 
the Arco Juno made the trip nearly 600 times. But it was the Arco Juno's first journey carrying Alaska's oil that will always be remembered as part of TAP's and Alaska's history.